RudeTubers who join me on another Rude Day. Uh, this time it is a New England IPA I am brewing, um, which is sort of a recipe of my own but using a hop schedule from someone else, so there's a bit of a mixture really. Um, calling this beer Hops Await You All with Big Nasty Pointy Teeth um, from the Holy Grail. That's where the name came from. Don't know why I chose it, but it's silly and appropriate. So, <laughs> mashing in at the moment. Um, just added, let's have a look, five kilograms of pale malt, 650 grams of wheat malt, and 650 grams of porridge oats. Um, so I'm just going to add the last kilogram of pale malt now. Um, yeah, I'll show you. Show you that happening. So, new camera angle. Wow. Um, adding the last kilogram of pale malt. I've got um, a new pump to try as well. Um, I've upgraded from the standard Bulldog Brewer pump to one from Cape Kingdom, so hopefully it will be a, a good pump to use. Just stirring the top at the moment whilst I add the grains. Yeah, right down in there. Right, I continue stirring this and start the recirculation of the vault. So that is the new pump working away there. I just need to uh, reduce the flow rate a little bit. There we go. Right then, hour and 15 mesh. Right, so time to start the sparge. I've had an extended uh, mash period because I've got to put the uh, sparge water on. Um, so I've I've uh, mashed it for about half an hour more than I should do, so it's had about a uh, 45 minute mash. But um, sparge water is up to temperature, so I'm going to start that now. As usual, I'll, for a 23 litre batch, I'll probably sparge up to about uh, 28 litres or so and um, go from there. So I'll, I'll carry on with this and I'll see you when we're ready to uh, boil. Right, so first hop addition is 10 grams of Warrior. Smells lovely, that Warrior hop. In it goes. I have had a wee bit of a boil over. Um, wasn't paying attention as I was measuring the hops, but uh, never mind. Yeah, going to boil for an hour. Um, no hop additions until flame out. Right, so flame out additions: five grams of Galaxy, five grams of Amarillo, and five grams of Citra. So in they go, and flame out. Should sort of stop now. There we go. <laughs> so I've just added 15 grams of Galaxy, 25 grams of Citra, and 25 grams of Amarillo at an 80 degrees Celsius well pour. Just cooling the wort down now. So I've got the um, wort chiller in there and just recirculating it at the same time. Smells very fruity. Right, so the hydrometer reading. I make that at about 1066. Two, four, six, yeah, 10, 1066, which is quite a healthy, uh, healthy original gravity, I think. Look at that color on that though. It's like a nice sort of murky gray, gray yellow sort of color real New England IPA. 
So I'm now adding the, um, the wort to the fermentation vessel, pouring from a height to get uh, aeration to the beer, well, soon to be beer. The new pump is working wonders. That's a very good rate of flow there. The smell is, oh, it's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. I'm going to, to use um, Belgian Saison yeast because I hear that's quite good in New England IPA. So that is the yeast I shall be using. So there we are, just a touch under 23 litres. I've added the Saison yeast. Nicely frothed up. So yes, we'll um, leave this for five days before the next um, and the first dry hop edition. So we're five days into fermentation. So we're going to add a hop addition, 50 grams of citra, 50 grams of amarillo and 30 grams of galaxy. So in go the five day hop additions. Lovely job. At this point there should be a second bit of footage of me adding the second dry hop addition, um, which was again 30 grams of Galaxy, 50 grams of Citra and 50 grams of Amarillo. That was done on day nine. So we are at the end of the Nipah trip. Here is the finished pint. Well, not pint, I know, but there it is. So it's got that typical Nipah cloudy, um, see through orange style to it. Quite a nice tight head, but doesn't stay around too long. The nose, oh, the nose is wonderful. Hops, hops, and more hops. It's sort of tropical fruit hops. It's like grapefruit. Hints of pineapple. Oh, that does sound good. I think it's coming from the Galaxy, I think, and the, um, the Citra. Yeah, so, so, so four types of hops which went into this, as I said. A Warrior for bittering, and then Galaxy um, Amarillo and Citra. Um, dry hop additions for flavour. Um, so let's try and uh, try some, eh? It's creamy, has that typical wheaty, oaty creaminess that um, this spear style um, has, but it's too bitter. It was fantastic before the final hop edition. Um, you know, it was really fruity and you know, very drinkable, but the final hop edition is just the bitterness, too much bitterness. Um, it's nowhere near as bad as my Amarillo single hop, so it's still drinkable, but it just hasn't got that smooth luggability um, that it should have. It's just a shame, really. I think it's that Amarillo hop as well, which is which has caused a problem. Um, it's got the same sort of bitter nuttiness to it which my Amarillo Single Hot beer had. So I reckon that's the culprit. Um, I will rebrew this um, once I finish this lot, but I will not add that second hop edition. I will just leave the one hop edition five days in, and then as soon as it's ready, bottle it. Because that is tragic, really. I mean, once you get past the... Um, that bitter, nutty taste. There is hints of that fruitiness, but it's just been dominated by bitter nuts. <laughs> mm. The smells and the look is the best thing about this beer, unfortunately. I mean, at least it's not fit for the drain, it is manageable. But 
yeah, that is quite um, quite tragic. It does have a bit of sweetness in the background, I suppose, where that bitterness comes, where the um, sorry, the fruitiness and the sort of tropical fruit notes come through. That is there, but it's just so overwhelmed um, that it's uh, it's not as good as I would have liked it. Mm. I'll know for next time. It is what it is. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you all have a good weekend. Um, I've got Storm Brian outside. It's not a storm, he's a very naughty gal, um, as they say. Um, so, yes, it's a bit wee bit windy out there. But, um, yeah, going to have a nice drink up this evening with a friend. Um, trying to get rid of some of this lever. Offload that onto him and... Uh, mm, yeah, tragedy. Thank you very much for watching.